I want to talk about commotio cordis, unfortunately one of the more common causes of death in young athletes. I'm Dr. David, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise, injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. You might not know the term commotio cordis, but if your kids play baseball or lacrosse or hockey, those are probably the three most common it's something that you at least need to be aware of. Your coaches need to be aware of and take one step that potentially could save either your son or daughter's life or uh, one of the teammates. But first, let's talk about what commotio cordis actually is. This is a condition, it's a, a heart cause of death, a, a cardiac uh, death, where an athlete, a young athlete, it's almost always young kids, seven, eight, you know, maybe nine, 10, 11 years old, but it can get up into the high school ages as well, where an athlete gets struck in the chest right over the heart with a baseball or a hockey puck or a lacrosse ball. Those are probably the most common and they get hit in exactly the right point, the right place, at exactly the right time in the heart's electrical cycle, and it makes the heart stop. And it's almost always fatal. Uh, basically, within, I don't know, about 90% of cases, the athlete, the young athlete dies from this. And again, it's really rare because it hits, it has to be the right point, it has to be exactly uh, the right time, but it can happen. And so it makes sense. It's baseball, lacrosse, hockey, where there's projectiles. Now, um, in baseball, you say, well, you know, catchers, they wear chest protectors. And maybe that's a little helpful, but there have been a bunch of studies that show that even with chest protectors, baseball catchers can still suffer this. And you would think that, well, you know, my kid doesn't throw that hard, or it's a league that they don't pitch that, that hard. But you'd be surprised that the average pitch that causes these is somewhere 30 to 50 miles an hour. So it's not necessarily the speed of the pitch that really matters. The only thing that seems to make a huge difference is maybe using a softer baseball. And so the American Academy of Pediatrics and a number of organizations have pushed for softer baseballs uh, at little league, uh, at the little league level. Uh, it's something to think about. But again, it can happen in lacrosse. It can happen in hockey. Uh, those of you overseas, it can happen in cricket as well. Again, not common, but it's actually the second most common cause of sudden cardiac death in sports. Uh, so it is something that we need to know about. Now, I talked about the one step that potentially could save your son, maybe your daughter's life, and that's this. Because remember, 90% of young athletes that go into cardiac arrest, basically the heart goes into firing um, in basically an uncontrollable rhythm, what we call ventricular fibrillation, 90% of those kids die. The one step that is thought to increase the survivor rate, survivorship rates even a little bit is the use, the immediate use of an AED, an automated external defibrillator. Uh, it's hard to know how much it increases it, but it does increase it. And it needs to be used within probably the first three minutes. This is a condition that by the time you call an ambulance and they get to a hospital, uh, it's probably gonna be too late. Uh, so, you know, having an AED immediately available, you know, right there, not, you know, half a mile away down at the, the clubhouse or at the gym and you're on a field, you know, like I said, a quarter mile or half a mile away. You have to have it right there. Uh, that is thought to at least improve the chances of you know, survivorship. So that's one of the reasons I'm really, really passionate about having athletic trainers, not just at high school sports, games, tournaments, and practices, but also uh, having athletic trainers available at the youth level. This is a devastating problem when it happens. It's not super common, that's true, but it's, again, it's almost always fatal when it does happen. And so having an AED there, especially if you can have an athletic trainer, that might save the life 
of your son or daughter should one of these events happen. I talk a lot about commotio cordis in my new book, That's Gotta Hurt, The Injuries That Change Sports Forever. Again, it's a devastating condition. I tell the story of a high school athlete who died likely related to commotio cordis. We talk about would chest protectors help and what we can do to minimize this as it pertains to all protective equipment in all sports. I think it's really, really important. If you have a son or daughter that plays any sports that involve the use of helmets, uh, you know, it could be football. We talk about helmets as they pertain uh, to batters and pitchers. Yes, chest protectors. We talk about cricket equipment. I think it's something worth reading. So definitely get a copy of that book. There's a link below where you can get uh, the order. Uh, basically, you can go to where you can order it, tghbook.com. That's got to hurt is tghbook.com. You'll find links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, Indiegogo, uh, Powell's, Books A Million. You can order that and it'll get delivered to you on June 6th or whenever you watch this video. If you order it in the pre-order phase before it's available June 6th and then enter that order number on tghbook.com, you'll get all sorts of bonuses that are informative and entertaining and I think really helpful uh, basically for free. And I'll get those delivered to you at whatever email you give us. But uh, you know, whether or not you have kids that play sports or you're just an adult who likes to exercise and stay active, there's a lot of information related to the book, but it, you know, a little different. Courses, eBooks, things like that that you'll get absolutely free if you order the book before June 6th. And I think it can help you stay healthy and perform your best. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have a son or daughter that plays any of those sports with objects that fly in the air, I really appreciate you watching. Share this video if you have friends who have kids that play these sports. And I look forward to seeing you right here next time.